Summer break is coming to an end, and families are gearing up for a new school year. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayetto shares how the school district of Philadelphia is kicking off the back to school season. There's some school supplies in the bag. For soon to be fourth grader Armaurice Vargas, Monday's assignment was all about preparing for the new school year. There's a crayon box. Hundreds of families like Vargas and her mom Maribel Lerma came out to Martin Luther King High School in Germantown to load up on free school supplies. We went around and we got some stuff for school. City and district officials welcomed students and their parents to the event put on by the school district of Philadelphia. This back to school celebration and bus tour allows us to engage our families right where they are. For Lerma, this event is a huge help at the moment. I thought it was a good to take the opportunity to come since, you know, I'm laid off right now. Times are a little hard, so events like this help us. It was actually a good thing to spend more time with her. From free eye exams to information about resources within the community. Uh, all the um, places in Philadelphia, they have free food. So okay. Can... Lerma says she's thankful for the assistance. Families like us take advantage of this stuff. It's really good for us. What color would you like? Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. And after picking out her pink backpack, Vargas was ready to fill it up with one last item, a free book so she can work on reaching her new reading goal for this school year. I want to read a chapter book, but I don't know how to read it yet. And while Vargas stays busy in class, her mom says she'll be missing her all along the way. I'm going to miss her, though. She's my little best friend. <laughs> We're always together. Now, this is just the first stop on the school district of Philadelphia's bus tour. Their next stop will be on Wednesday from 9 to 11 a.m. over at J. Finnegan Playground. In East Germantown, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.